We're Sid and Mackie, and for the past six years, we've been racing mountain bikes professionally and traveling in our van. But the past 18 months have thrown us our fair share of curveballs. A few weeks ago, Mackie went into surgery to repair an old injury, and we're hoping that this marks a fresh start for both of us. In the gym, four days or three days? Four. Uh, it'll be four days this afternoon. Yeah. As you can see, Matthew is sporting our mask, our logo on it. I've got the better, not fitter mask. I think it's a good gym mask. It's a good reminder, especially for both of us right now dealing with injuries. So there is a link right below this video. If you want to get a mask, we also have T-shirts, etc. We finally have t-shirts with our logo on them for the first time since ever. Okay, I am five days after. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Five days post-surgery. My hand did not swell up after yesterday's workout, which is excellent news. And today I get to get off this, you can't see it I guess, but <laughs> I get to get off my club hand and apparently they're going to give me a removable splint, which is That's great. The hope, at least. I don't think you're actually allowed to remove it though. I just feel like you shouldn't get your hopes up too far here. I think it's like you remove it for PT. I just not, want like, less of a giant thing. Air. That's really what I'm going for. It would be nice to fit through your coat. <laughs> it would be nice if it fit through my coat. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool, really. yeah. Well, it looks good. And out of the purple line stitches, there's a lot more stitches I than I thought. I'm betting it is because then they use that to like Jesus. know where to get the stitches out, is my guess. The first thing we do is, is make that thumb incision. Okay. And what we're looking for is, is we're trying to find that EPL tendon stump, yep. um, and and yours was was really easy to find. Great. Um, Glad to hear you know, it. not necessarily a brand new injury. Yes. So we expect um, a little bit kind of a of a bulbous appearance of mm -hmm. it. So you know, it was a little bit scarred and and things, but. Uh, it was pretty mobile. It wasn't adhered to the tissue underneath. Then we kind of turn our attention to the um, the extensor indices, and so that's where our two dorsal incisions come in. Okay. So the first thing we do is make an incision distally here mm -hmm. and find that extensor indice. So then what we do is we cut that tendon. Yep. Um, we tie a suture to the end of it, um, and mm. then we make an incision here, and what we're trying to do is kind of fish that tendon back out through all of the other tissues in the Got dorsal it. part of the hand so that it's okay. not getting kind of caught up on anything in okay. there. Um, and then kind of once we've got it here, we do the same thing to get it over here. Okay. Uh, what we do then is uh, we use a very strong suture, something called fiber wire, to basically tie the, uh, the tendon into the EPL tennis, so the EIP into the EPL. Okay. Um, and then what we do is we basically make kind of these longitudinal slits and we kind of weave the tendon through it and then ah, tie it in several okay. different places. Gotcha. We took the splint off because we're going to get you started moving just a little bit. Clint, the therapist that you're going to see, is going to make you a custom splint. You're going to wear that splint basically full time. Okay. With the exception of when you see Clint for therapy okay. or when you're doing the exercises that he gives you. Okay. 
you reckon? Yeah, I mean, I would go pink, but it is. You know, I'll, I'll go pink. pink. I'm gonna go <laughs> pink. I'll go for the hot pink. <laughs> In case there's any doubt whether your hand is bigger than mine or not, <laughs> it's like no space. How are you feeling your recovery, Mackie? Also, are you allowed to be holding that pan? You might use it. Well, I can't let the pan escape. Yeah, it's important for recovery. Got some waffles, bacon, eggs. Waffle bacon egg sandwich. These are sourdough waffles that Mackie made. Something very exciting just arrived that is going to make my recovery from my hand surgery, as well as Sid's recovery, a lot better. Let's go see. Yes, this is the Stages bike. It's, I believe it's the SB20. And, you know, normally Sid and I are on the road, and so a stationary bike doesn't really make any sense for us. But given that we are here... And injured. And injured, it's like... This is going to be so sick. I would say stationary bikes are never cool looking. No. <laughs> <laughs> They're always dorky, but like on the spectrum of how cool looking totally it's, a stationary bike can be, it's pretty cool looking. It's, I'm creating a virtual bike. Now I have to choose a gearing and my options are dream, road, or mountain bike. What do you guys think dream gearing is? Okay, this is pretty cool. You can choose a traditional road setup, which is a 5339 front chain ring and an 1128 rear cassette, or a 1x12 mountain bike chain ring, or the dream drive basically allows you to choose, like you get to choose the gears I think, but it's 50 gears. It's a 1x50. I think that's what I'm gonna go for. Wow, some of these options are crazy. You can like add equipment weight to your user weight to like more realistically simulate a, the bicycle that you're gonna be on. It has brakes, shift feedback, which I assume means like when you shift, it feels like you're shifting. Gear setup, dream drive, front gear shifts. When you shift the front gear in dream drive, it will result in this number of gears up or down. Three gears, okay. 10 is our lowest, so a one by 10 or a one by 50. That's hilarious. Sure, 25 gears, why not?
garden. So I need to recover with some cookies and some scratch recovery mix. What's the matter, love? I think Dane is trying to kill me. Yeah. Yeah. How so? We just like doubled the volume that I did today compared to Monday. And I thought Monday was a lot. Monday was like the biggest strength workout I'd done like since before being injured. And we doubled it. I, I lifted I mean... 6,000 pounds according <laughs> to the app. Where's my phone? See, look. But anyway, this app is hilarious. It tells you, where's the like, Oh yeah, it like adds up every rep to give you this like huge number. Good job, Sid lifted 5,920 pounds Yeah, I can eat today. whatever I want. I mean, I always eat whatever I want, but hopefully all you can, I will want, want to, to eat, eat more. more. Is this? What is this? What is it? <laughs> so if you are new to our channel, you may not know that while 2020 was a garbage year in a lot of ways <laughs> and we didn't i didn't really ride bikes we did do one thing and that was we started a board game company <laughs> <laughs> and made our first board game which is the first legit mountain biking board game it is called send it because and this is obviously <laughs> the first that we've actually seen the production production copy like this is like the plastic one that yeah. has all of the changes. Let's see if I could get. So we did a Kickstarter in May. We funded our Kickstarter, and we do have copies still available up on SendItBoardGames.com. So if you want to still get in on this? It's not too late. It's not too late, though. I don't know how long <laughs> the extra copies will last. Probably not that long. This might be like the thing I'm most excited about. This is the thing about. that you really didn't see. This is which the thing is I this. have not seen. So under the rider cards is a spot for all the other things. So <laughs> which... the pop outs go in here, one of them here, and then the plastic clips go in here, and then like the cards cover them up, and then everything is organized. And I, I feel like, like organization. You're, like, stupid excited about this, but that's probably not actually like, exciting to most people. No, most people like, are going to be like, the game is whatever. exciting, but they're like. <laughs> They don't realize how difficult it was to get the right shaped plastic thingy in there. The exciting news for today is that I finally get to get my sutures out. I'm hoping that they will say like, sure, you can do like more movement stuff, but I'm not super optimistic. I think they pretty much want me doing like pretty minimal movement aside from like light mobility until six weeks because basically I'm just trying to keep the repair from scarring like to the surrounding tissue. Question, have you or anyone at home had any symptoms of COVID in the last 14 days? No. Please remove any glasses, sunglasses, hair on your forehead or hat you may be wearing and look at my face. Please stand still, taking your temperature now. Your temperature looks fine. Please take your sticker and proceed to the check-in desk. <laughs> You know, we kind of want to just be be careful of it, um, okay. and then non weight bearing for yeah. the total of six weeks, and yeah. then we're gonna start some some weight bearing. I don't the the motion right now. Some people when they do this surgery put you in a cast. Okay. And so any motion that you have is a bonus at this okay. point. Okay. So gotcha. I, I'm not. I, in fact, we don't want you to be able to make a fist. Okay. This I have time. not tried that. Yeah. <laughs> so that's <laughs> that's Clint's not been having me do the like the top yeah. of the thumb, this, and yeah. then. Yeah. And that's this. that's perfect. Okay. Not worried about strength or anything. Strength isn't time limited. Yeah. Motion is. Yeah. And so we want just to make sure that you're not overly stiff. Okay. When that repair becomes a little bit stronger then we'll start getting a little bit more aggressive with motion. Yeah, I'd definitely be super careful with the range of motion. He doesn't want any composite flexion, so bending all joints at the same time. 
obviously not exactly what I was hoping to hear from those guys. I do not get to do additional range of movement stuff. I just get to do the like super minimal stuff that I was doing, except I am allowed to move my fingers and I am allowed to move my wrist. The other good news is I'm pretty sure now I'm allowed to sweat. That means that I finally get to try riding the stages bike. So that is the plan. I'm pretty excited about that. Make sure you're subscribed to keep following our journey back to racing and traveling, and to see Mackie tackle Zwift racing for the first time ever. That was something. I'm not sure Zwift racing is my thing. <laughs>